cool hi hi everyone mm, welcome to the orientation session this is namji i can see quite a few people are still joining in connecting to the audio so we'll just wait for 2 3 minutes to allow everyone to connect on audio mm, quite a few people still joining into the session as well cool hi hi malar how are you uh, hey hi satnam ji i am doing great uh, what about you i'm good i'm good uh, so welcome to everyone uh, to the orientation session we'll just start in a minute or two i can see quite a few people joining in still connecting to audio or something so we'll just wait for Two three minutes to allow people to join to audio channels, connect to voice so that they can move ahead. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, welcome to everyone. This is Satnam Ji. Uh, I am currently working with Outscale as head of admissions, and uh, I've worked in the past with over fifty companies with their hiring needs, especially in the field of game development. And we have with us Malha, who is an alumni of Outscale and now is currently working with Outscale as well. So, Malha, if you could give a quick introduction about yourself as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey hi guys uh, really nice uh, meeting you uh, my name is malhar devasai actually i was a student of outscale uh, of batch 3 uh, when i was a student uh, the batch number was 3 and currently we are launching the 19th batch so that's really great i am really happy to see the growth of outscale in that direction uh, coming to coming back to me actually uh, i was a student of batch 3 and i got placed into the company called as deftouch Uh, i worked there as a game developer for few months uh, i i have been active developer for the released updates of the multiplayer games of that company uh, contributed in baseball cricket game as well as uh, some small um, ca- hyper casual games as well uh, with the mpl collaboration as well so yeah like after that like after having a development experience uh, actually my core motivation lies uh, within what exactly the outscale is doing helping bunch of game developers uh, to achieve their dreams right so i decided um, to join outscale back uh, as a subject matter expert so yeah like that's a small story of me uh, really nice meeting you all yeah so mala will be your mentor for the day uh, i'll be the host for the day so in today's session we'll basically be having a little bit of faq so if you have any queries questions regarding the program in general or game development in general or anything uh, related to the things we're going to discuss in general just feel free to drop them in chat and we and malha will be more than happy to take up your queries whether it's related to whether you can get a job in the industry in game development or not what kind of jobs you can expect what what's the growth and all so or any kind of questions you welcome to put into the chat and all and apart from that of course uh, we'll be discussing about the program in detail what will be covered in the program what kind of companies come to hire you basically and then again of course we'll be discussing about uh, like we'll have an faq on that as well and what kind of mentors will be there during the program and finally we'll be focusing on building a game project today as well uh, which Ma- malhar will be leading so even if you are a big nerd have no experience we have a game project for you if you are already in the industry have solid experience we have a game project for you as well so no no worries on that side but uh, like i can see people have started putting in their, their queries so yeah so the first question is what's the so uh, guys we'll actually start with the uh, session properly around uh, 8 o'clock we'll just give 10 minutes for faqs 
so that people can also join in settle in and if they have some particular questions that they want to get the session started with we can and then at sharp eight we'll start with the actual session so that we can uh give details about the program and all so we can uh, we'll move into that direction because i can see quite a few people are still joining into the session at the moment so we'll just let people join into the session what's the job growth in game development uh mm, that's that's a very good question gurasis but uh, i think I, i'll ask some time from your end uh, we'll discuss this in detail once we start with the orientation session i'll actually talk about it a lot but uh, just just to give you a quick overview if you are familiar with uh, metaverse in general right so metaverse is nothing but it's going to be a creation a virtual world that is going to be created by no one else but uh, my am i not audible malar uh yes yes you are audible i'm audible uh, guru sees i guess you just need to check once i guess i am audible if if i am audible just drop a thumbs up if i am not audible just drop a thumbs down in the chat so i can see uh, how many people can hear me clearly uh okay i can see quite a few thumbs up uh, coming up so i hope i am audible yeah fine so uh yeah guru sees i guess just adjust your mic once quickly Uh, so as i was saying metaverse in general is going to be a driving force in the it industry in the upcoming years next 4 5 years and uh, trust me when i tell you game developers unity developers and unreal developers are going to be the people who going to be driving that as well uh, it's 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 as simple as that because uh, metaverse is not being driven by company like meta that is facebook now meta but it is actually been driven by uh unity and unreal and facebook named itself meta after metaverse basically so yeah that's about that uh cool what kind of job can i expect from this program uh anand uh, there are a variety of jobs you can expect it ranges from being a game developer in any of the gaming engines of your own choice to being a ar developer vr developer being a back end developer as well a lot of candidates go into back end game development as well so a lot of choices will open up at the end of this program uh for you but the important thing is that it's it's not like you join the program and the program will give you the job you will have to work hard for it uh we are not a uh, magician sitting over here or wizard sitting over here who's gonna do something and you'll get a job no we'll guide you in the right direction we'll connect you with the right people we'll provide you the right platform as well but then it's gonna be your own work your own hard work that's gonna get you a job at the end of the program but then again as i mentioned the job is going to be in one of the various fields that are available including ar vr game development even a lot of candidates go into web development as well or c++ development as well so a lot of different opportunities will be there for you how and where to get started to learn about game development moment here this is the place you get started to learn about game development we are all talking about game development over here only so yeah this is the right place if you want to get started uh, started about game development uh i am really sorry but all of a sudden i'm not able to listen to uh can uh, um, sham can you just malhar can you just mention uh, like message gurasis to disconnect and reconnect on zoom i guess that will help him yeah will yeah. you be mainly teaching technical aspects such as programming code uh, coding or conceptual things as well so uh i guess malhar i i'll hand over this question to you it will be a better suit for you to answer this question yeah yeah uh, good question uh, so there will be uh, there will be a heavy focus on engineering side uh, what i mean by engineering is uh, proper development uh, game programming uh, game coding uh, and inside that like there will be uh, there will be a coverance of all fundamentals as well as advanced terms 
uh, something like code architecture, design patterns, some kind of advanced level stuff. Uh, those only uh, are known by experienced developers. Uh, we will make sure that you will understand all the advanced level stuff, uh, including the fundamentals. But we will only cover the programming and engineering side, not the art and design and VFX, SFX side of thing of the game development. As you guys know, game development is a huge industry, uh, but we focus only on engineering, programming kind of side. I hope that question uh, is clear at the moment. Yeah. Cool. So uh, next question we have is, hi, I am working in VFX industry. Ashutosh, it will be great if you can put the questions in chat for everyone to see. You have messaged me directly. But it will be great if you can put it uh, in the chat for everyone to see. Uh, I'll still read out the question for everyone. Hi, I'm working in the VFX industry in Pune. So if I want to switch to game development, do I have to start from base again in terms of salary? So Ashutosh, I don't know what your current salary is uh, in VFX, but for freshers who join, uh, like for uh, freshers who join out skill do the program and then start looking for a job the average placement package is roughly around 5.5 lakhs per annum so that is where uh, on average developers from out skill start freshers in general and then people who have uh, experience in programming so now you are currently working in vfx but then again it counts whether you have any sorts of prior experience or programming or not if you have some sorts of programming experience some work experience then of course there's a bit of a hike and it goes to 6.5 or 7 lakhs per annum if you have some sorts of programming experience and then again if you have solid game development experience then it rises even further and it goes to 8 8.5 lakhs per annum at the end of the program so it it will depend on all of these factors if you are switching industries uh what kind of a package or salary uh in general sense you can expect to get but I'm not sure about your background, so I can't tell you exactly which category you're going to lie in. But I hope this gives you a overall idea about what kind of salary packages you can expect. Uh, a very common and a very good question is what are the main skills required for this? to being a game development in general uh you just uh, if you are coming over here with us like to outscale we'll provide you all the skill set you require to be a great developer okay and uh it, it's it's gonna help you build your career we just need one skill set from your end and that is passion if you have solid passion for being a game developer talking about malar over here i still remember i was the first person Malher called and talked to when he joined Outskill two years back. And I still remember the entire call in my head. What was the conversation we had? What were his queries and all? But there was one thing that I was very sure in that call itself was that Malher was very passionate about being game developer, about bringing a change in the game development industry. So if, if you have that passion, then we just need that from you. We'll be providing you with all the skill sets that are uh, needed to be a great developer and to start your career in the industry, even connect you with the right companies as well. It's not only about the skill set, but about the right connections, the right networks, the right presentation of yourself in the industry. So all that is something that we'll cover, but uh, yeah, uh, you just need that solid passion for it. How is the job industry different in India versus abroad? Job opportunities abroad as currently just booming in India. So that's that's the thing, Sayak Mitra. Given that it started booming in India, there's a bigger demand and lesser supply in India at the moment. Uh, in abroad, abroad, if I might say, there are only a few countries who are actively working on game development, some of which are... Of course, USA is one of them. Then you have China, of course, as well. And then China is not someone keen on hiring uh, like people from across the border. They have their own marketplace and all, but China is one of them. Then there's US. US is the current leader. You could talk about Turkey. Turkey has got, got a good game development industry going. But then again, the thing is, these markets are more or less saturated. They have enough demand and sorry, enough supply to meet the demand because there's awareness about the industry. In India, because it's just booming, 
there's a lot more demand and a lot less supply at the moment very less people so uh, I, i was just checking out uh, general stats uh, on linkedin about what is an i like average it opening how many applicants are there and for then a game developers opening how many average applicants are there so talking about general it opening there are 22 applicants per it opening whether it's web development android ai ml or any of those general fields and then when you talk about game development in particular per opening per job opening there is there are only 0.6 applicants on an average so that simply means that if there are 100 jobs there are only 60 applicants over there applying for those jobs and that doesn't even mean 60 applicants but 60 applications and a lot of times single person applies for multiple jobs so if you take that into consideration you might have even 40 people or 30 people total applying for 100 jobs basically so a lot more job opportunities are available in the gaming industry in india as compared to abroad but just because people think okay the the industry is more mature in us so there are better opportunities that's definitely not the case the opportunities are way more in india at the moment just because it's growing and there is a bigger demand at the moment when it comes to companies uh what are the main skills required i guess we have discussed what is the selection process for isa program you have to complete the project that muller will discuss about later in the session and that's the only criteria to qualify game development requires web development and unity 3d and dsa 2 am i right so absolutely but not web development you don't need web development for game development uh Uh, we'll talk about in detail but uh, it needs dsa and unity and instead of unity you can use any of the other gaming engines like cocos or unreal or a, a lot of other gaming engines that are there how's the job growth in game development gurasis i just discussed that as well will you be mainly teaching unity or other engines like godot unreal etc gopal it's a seven months program impossible for us to cover all the gaming engines so we'll use unity to teach you the basics of programming and game development as well even the advanced stuff in game development as well but a lot like uh, i'll be very honest 60% of the developers that graduate from outskill don't end up working in unity they're either working in unreal or webgl or cocos 60% so only 40% developers graduating end up working in unity basically so we our focus is to make you good game developers but then again moving ahead you can choose what kind of engine what kind of company what kind of opportunity you want to build your career in so that's absolutely up to you over there uh guys i think i'll stop taking questions at 8:5 so uh, we'll have more time to discuss about the questions so don't worry about that but uh, yeah right now i guess we are lagging a bit so i'll just take two three questions more and wrap it up i am already a web developer and have a degree in animation how much time will it take me to switch to this path as a game developer with existing knowledge in unity and other tools like maya blender etc so if you want to be a game developer uh, the entire program is going to take 7 months but uh, with people who have some sorts of prior knowledge or experience as uh, case proven by malhar uh, you start getting placements in the third month itself malhar actually genuinely never completed the program <laughs> he started with us for four months and within the fourth month he had an offer and uh, yeah his job started basically so yeah he he came back and he did all the things but then again technically uh, he was still in the program and he got a job so if you have some solid background knowledge it takes 3 to 4 months if you are absolutely a fresher it takes 7 months roughly to get sorted and that's the total duration of the program as well i am not from a technical background and would i be able to get into this domain anup uh, i i don't know if you know this or not but 20% of the candidates who join into the program uh, are actually from non technical background and uh, i will just discuss about a lot of success stories of such candidates as well who joined in got a job while they were in college like they didn't even graduate got a job and then moved uh, moved on with their career so yeah that's about that and what would be my entry level salary and my skills 
uh, I guess we already discussed about the entry level salary in detail. So yeah, that's about that. Can I not go for job above after this program, but create my own business on metaverse from India, like NFTs and casinos, etc. You can roof, not an issue at all. You, you surely can create your own business. No one's going to stop you at all. I'm having no idea about game development, no technical skill for the same. Can I still go ahead with this? Sakshi, absolutely. You can, as I just mentioned, a lot of people from non-technical background with no programming idea, no game development idea, actually have done the program, have landed good jobs. So that's not an issue at all. Game development is a best and challenging career advice is about this topic, please. So. Now, you just mentioned game development is the best and challenging career ahead. I don't have anything else to say on top of that. <laughs> you you already like made a statement. It's not a question, I guess. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, over there. So I guess uh, we'll stop for now. And I'll, I'll take all the questions that are coming in chat. So during the session itself, uh, if you have any queries, questions, just keep on putting them in the chat. And we'll take that up in detail, but I guess it's already 8-6. So welcome and hi to everyone again. This is Satnam Ji. I'm currently working as a head of admissions at Outscale. And I've worked with 50 plus companies, top studios in India and abroad like uh, Rockstar, Ubisoft, EA, uh, MPL in India, Jungle Games, Game Shastra, and Core Games with their hiring game development requirements, game developer requirements in general. And we have with us Malha, who's an alumni of Outscale and is now currently working with Outscale as a subject matter expert, and he'll be your mentor for the day. Uh, right now, we'll be kickstarting the session, but still, if you have any queries or questions in general, feel free to drop them in the chat. I'll be covering all the queries and questions once we, have, we are done with the orientation session before Malar actually starts with the uh, game building session as well. So just uh, put in your queries and questions. I'll take all of them. Don't worry. Uh, we'll just need some time. But uh, before I also actually start with the session, I'll request everyone to look on the top right hand side corner of the screen. Over there, you will be able to see a button that says view. And in view, please switch to gallery view quickly. And after switching to the gallery view, uh, you'll get in, uh, start your video basically. So just come on video and we'll play a quick game to get to know all the people that are in the session. So if you could switch to gallery view and come on your video, we'll play a quick game and then we'll actually start with this session. If people can quickly come on to their videos. I guess everyone should have permission to start their videos. Okay, Dhanshri Reddy is here. If if everyone can come, like more the people on their video, better it's going to be, greater it's going to be. Less of the people on video, more boring it, the session's going to be. So uh, I'd really request if more and more people can actually come on video, it will be great. So I can see quite a few people coming in. Uh, guys, and switch to gallery view as well. Not only come on video, also switch to gallery view. Guys, it's going to be really boring this way. Trust me when I'm saying more people on video, it'll, it's going to be more fun. Okay. Yeah. Now I can see quite a few people coming on to video. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, uh, the game is nothing, but, uh, I'm going to ask a series of questions. If, if more people can come on video. Okay. I don't think people are chilling guys. I know it's work from home or study from home. So everyone's, uh, just like that. It's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm going to ask a series of questions, the answer to which is going to be either yes or no. The first thing all of us are going to do is cover our camera with our thumb or hand. Uh, basically, we cover it up. I'm going to ask a series of questions, the answer to which is going to be yes or no. If the answer to the question is yes, you quickly show your face basically. And if the answer to the question is no, then you keep your face hidden. So this way we get to know what kind of background you are from and generally certain things. So for a sample question, let me ask us, uh, if everyone can cover their cameras, it will be great. Just a sample question quickly. If your name starts with S show your face. So given my name starts with S I'll show my face. Sarfraz is showing Shubham and Surju say, uh, so cool. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll just ask a series of questions. Just keep your cameras covered at all possible time. So the next question I have is if you are an active gamer, that is you play, you play games and twice, at least every week, show your face at least twice every week. Okay. Harsh is laughing. He's saying, do din. No, I play every day, every hour. Okay, cool. Uh, but there are quite a few people who don't play games. Okay, cool. Uh, so if, if you have played a game in the last 24 hours, basically, uh, any, any game in the last 24 hours, show your face. It can be Candy Crush as well works for me. Okay. Uh, quite a few people. Uh, if you have played PUBG in the last 24 hours, show your face. Okay. Uday Kiran is happy. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's your name, role number 31, but great. Only two people are there who played, uh, PUBG. Okay, cool. Uh, if you have, or are playing the game after the session actually started roughly around 25 minutes ago, show your face. Okay. <laughs> Dhruv is like, I don't give a fuck. I am playing games. Okay. Uh, Vignesh is also playing. Okay, cool guys. Focus. Come on. Uh, hustle. Okay. Uh, fine. So, uh, if you, if you had decided before coming to know about metaverse or outscale in general, that you wanted to be a game developer, if you have already decided about it, show your face. Okay. Oh, uh, that's, that's really cool. So a lot of, lot of people who had already decided that they want to be a game developer. Cool. Uh, Last question. Uh, if, if you have built or worked on any kind of game, any, it can even be a paper game or a board game. If you have built or worked or a video game, of course, uh, just show your face, any kind of game, if you work conceptualized or anything. Okay. We have quite a few people who've actually worked and built some kind of game basically. Okay. Sounds good. So I guess I just wanted to get a quick introduction and get to know each other. So I can see a lot of active gamers are there in the session. And then there are people who've actually worked and built on games. So that is great to have. Uh, I'll quickly share my screen and we'll move ahead with the session. Basically, uh, any queries, any questions, feel free to just keep on uh, putting them in the chat and at the end of the session, uh, after the, at the end of the orientation, I'll take up these questions. So don't worry. None of the questions are going to get missed. So that's not going to be an issue. Just give me one second. Uh, just drop me a thumbs up in the chat. If my screen is visible, if everyone can quickly drop me a thumbs up in the chat, if the screen is visible, uh, guys, I can't scroll through your faces. So in the chat, it will be great. Like just drop a thumbs up in the chat. Yeah. Okay, cool. I can see, I guess everyone is, uh, able to, yeah, cool. So welcome again to outscales full stack game development orientation session, uh, one and all, uh, today's session, we'll be doing these three things. We'll be talking about outscales full stack game development program. We'll be doing a Q and a session after that, and then we'll be focusing on building game projects. And even if you are a fresher, don't worry, we'll be starting with the very basics. And if you already have solid knowledge, don't worry, we have a game for you as well to build. So, uh, that's about what we'll be doing today. Moving ahead, Outscale's founder, Mr. Mayank, he started Outscale back in 2018, having worked with some of the top companies in India, as well as us, he figured out that there's, as I was just discussing, there's a huge demand and supply gap. Just because India has now started booming in the gaming industry, a lot of people are there who are looking to hire developers. And then there are a lot of people who want to actually join, but then there's no connection between them because people who want to get into the gaming industry don't know the right path, the right kind of skill set they actually need to get into the gaming industry. So that is where Outscale actually got founded and started back in 2018. And I have also been associated with Outscale since then only. And uh, yeah, right now we've actually just started our 18th clan and boom, a lot of you might end up in joining our 19th clan that is starting from 
13th of December, basically. So just a quick background. He did his bachelor's from Delhi College of Engineering, right now known as DTU, one of the top colleges in India. Then he went to US, did work, like studied from CMU and Ivy League College. Just Google CMU and you will figure out it's like in the league of Harvard and Oxford's of the world. And then he started working with some of the kick-ass companies in gaming industry, whether it's EA Sports, Kickside, Dana, came back to India, worked with Jungle Games and all. And then uh, Outscale came to being eventually. Oh, a very common question was, is there scope in game development? What kind of jobs are available in the gaming industry? What's the industry growth rate? I guess everything is mentioned over here. Average entry level CTC, 5 LPA, IT industry, 2.8 LPA. So there's the, another thing. Uh, a recent study was published. I'm not sure how, how closely you follow game industry news, but uh, I, I was just uh, reading through a game industry general and it was mentioned that ba way back in 2010, uh, the IT industry, the average package for an entry level person was close to 2.3 lakhs per annum. And the game development industry, though a subset of IT industry itself, was lesser than the IT industry and it was close to 2 lakhs per annum way back in 2010. And right now, Though IT industry has also grown quite a bit, but then again, the average package for an entry level person is just 2.8 lakhs per annum. So it's just grown 0.5 LPA as compared to the game development industry, where the package has almost grown 2.250% basically, or 2.5 times. And it's gone from 2 lakhs per annum to 5 lakhs per annum in the past 11 years. So that is the difference between the industry growth rate of game development in general and IT industry. And then again, if, if you guys have heard about Geo Tesseract, it's, it's a, like a plan by Geo based around and on the gaming universe itself. And it's a billion dollar funded thing that now Reliance Geo is getting into. So absolutely nerve wracking numbers when it's come to gaming industry and a lot, lot of opportunities. The only thing is that you need to be clear in your head that this is something that you actually want to do. Moving ahead, talking about placements, I just mentioned some of the companies I've already worked with. Uh, if I call in general, Jungle Games, Sumo, Ubisoft, MPL with the high, their hiring requirements, even simple Reliance Games uh, and a lot more in general. But I, Generally in outscale, there are 200 plus gaming studios who are out there at all possible times, ready to look at your resume, whether you are the right fit for them or not. Of course, we'll also help you out and try to find the right fit for you. You can also suggest to us what kind of companies you're looking for, but this is just an insane number that any particular time there are 200 plus gaming studios that are out there looking to hire you, but you have to be ready. So that is what uh, is there when you step into outscale to build a career in gaming industry. As I mentioned earlier, it's not only about technical, it's about the presentation as well as connecting with the right people. I personally feel connecting with the right people on LinkedIn is very, very, very important. And uh, we'll discuss about that just after this. So these are some of the success stories uh, of outscale. It's an important uh, slide in the presentation for most of the companies. But then again, I feel that all of the people who are present here today can be in this slide somewhere down the line where I might be doing the presentation. And just like these people, your face will also be on the slide and I'll be telling, okay, this person, okay, this was in that batch and he joined into this company and that package. Here, I'll just like to talk about one person or two person in general. So one is Chinmay. A lot of you had non-technical background in your head that I am from non-technical background. Will I get a job? Will I get a good package? Chinmay was from a non-technical background. He was still in college, completing his final year, joined Outskill, did the seven months program with us. His final year was not complete in his non-technical degree. He still had to graduate. He already had a job of six plus lakhs per annum after completing Outskill's program. So that is for all the non-technical people sitting out there thinking whether I'll get a job or not. This is just one example. There are a lot of others examples who are also there in general. But this is just one of the examples who's there that this person didn't even complete college, was from a non-technical background, 
completed the program without skill got a job and got settled that's about him and then for people who are saying that they are switching streams and all of course if a fresher like him from a non technical background can get it if you are already from a development and a technical background it's not going to be a very difficult task for you to switch and get good packages after completion of the program uh secondly uh manas uh manas again uh, he was not a non technical person he was not even a fresher he was a working professional who had worked in the gaming industry for over 3 years he was struggling at a package of 3.84 lakhs per annum didn't have a clear picture or mindset about what to do same was for setunath in general as well didn't have a clear picture how to proceed ahead with their career how to scale up did the program with outscale continued the program for 7 months i don't think uh, these two people even completed 7 months so setunath i guess got placed in the 5th month itself manas got placed in the 4th month itself so uh, they just came in got the right direction connected with the right people and worked on their skill set and within 3 or 4 months or 5 months of joining into the program they had a job on their hands that they were working towards and earning almost double of what they were earning as i mentioned manas was somewhere at 3.84 lakhs per annum when he joined in and currently he is working at 8 lakhs per plus per annum so that that's that's about some of the people but uh, back to linkedin and connections as i was saying so this is nothing but a slide of people telling uh, how great outscale is but again i don't want you to believe on what i'm showing you here go on linkedin get on to outscale's page connect with these people you've already you might have seen some of the names you want to note down take down their names connect with them on linkedin sorry uh talk to them ask them how their own experience was with outscale and i i know they'll be more than happy to connect with you and share an honest feedback with you about what they had to do to get a job during or after outscale's program but then again i'll just emphasize on one thing we don't have magic wands we'll help you get there you are the one who is eventually going to get there we can get you on the chair of the interview but then you're going to be the one who's going to crack that interview so connect with these people on linkedin you'll also get to know more people in the gaming industry in general even if you don't end up joining into out skills program not an issue you'll just have a good network of game developers uh, out there who you can turn to anytime you need help with anything related to development game development in general or about the game development industry as well so connect with these people talk to them and figure out uh, what what opportunities they had and what outscale can actually do for you as well so uh, we discussed this uh, shortly while we were playing game but i don't think we got a solid idea so malar has just gone live with a poll what is your game development experience how much experience you have in game development so just just put in whatever kind of experience you have whether you have professional experience whether you have no experience uh what whatever kind of experience you have uh, professional experience generally means that you have uh, done some kind of job in game development i'm not talking about vfx or other things over here i'm talking about development in particular so if if everyone can quickly go in i think a lot of people have already put in their answers but if everyone can quickly hustle and put in their answers so we can move ahead with the session so i can see okay almost 70% people have put in there or 60% people have put in their answers uh quick uh going once going twice and so on so i guess we've got the answers and i don't think more people are going to answer mala but uh, yeah i can see quite a few people are there who have some sorts of knowledge or experience with game development in general but uh, then again a lot of people just know that it's exciting career to do so for those people today session is going to be very crucial for people who already have some game development knowledge and experience for those people a lot of things that you might hear might change your perception about what you felt gaming industry was about till now but uh, then again uh, yeah just just go out there and research and you will feel the same thing that i am telling you right now so i guess uh, yeah i guess we're done with this poll for the moment 
moving ahead a uh, quick overview about the program i have already mentioned the total duration of the program is 7 months placement start in the third month and continue till 10th month and they continue only till 10th month because when 10th month comes all the candidates are placed already everyone is placed no one's looking for a job after 10th month so that's why at 10th month we call it a hold to placements in general for the clan uh, or batch but then again uh, lifetime placement services is something outskill believes in so even if you get a job and you want to switch you just ping up uh, the placement team again hey i want to switch or i am done with my current job i want to get into a new role the team will be more than happy to help you out over there as well so that is what uh, goes uh, like placement take place but then again it's going to be your work and your hard work only that's going to get you that placement uh in the third month or the 10th month as well uh talking about timings for people who are currently working or currently in college a lot of them have this question how we'll manage with the program and the job as well uh side by side for them it's pretty simple the sessions are held in the evening after 7 pm so usual timings being 7 pm to 10 pm monday to thursday friday you have a leave and then 4 pm to 10 pm on saturday sunday so this way it's not going to eat up in your college timings or even your work timings and you'll have ample flexibility to work on them and in case you end up missing some one session or some of the sessions you'll always get recorded sessions for that so that is always there we prefer that you don't miss any sessions because live interaction is way better it's not going to be like this uh it's going to be much better you will be able to interact with the mentors just because we have smaller batches or clans of only 20 people and uh, the day is also coming when we're going to start with the clan but then again uh yeah uh it's not going to interfere with your work life or your college life you can continue with that and continue with the program side by side that's not going to be an issue at all so uh, moving ahead uh, uh, if you are from technical background in general and have some sorts of technical knowledge then you just need to spend this this much time towards the program only no extra hours are required from your end within this you will be able to do the projects whatever work is given to you whatever prep you need to do and attend the mentor session as well but then again if you are from a non technical background you don't have any prior coding knowledge then at least for the initial 2 3 months you will have to spend some extra time that is close to 35 hours per week or 10 hours more than the rest of the people who have some sorts of development knowledge to crack and continue with the right pace for the program so that is uh, going to be your time requirement if you want to join into the program so just keep this into consideration while you are making that decision whether this is the program for you or not uh okay Uh, i guess we already uh, i already answered this question for a person who mentioned it in the chat but then again malhar can we go live with the second poll quickly yeah yeah sure so the question is very simple a lot of you might not be familiar with what data structures and algorithms is so there's an option for you as well uh, dsa is data structures and algorithms you'll get to know during the program uh, about it but then again the question is do you need dsa to be a game developer or not so that that's the simple question i can see uh if everyone can quickly just go in and poll in their answers it would be great we don't want to like extend the session by much i guess we had quite a few questions today so we are already running a bit late on time but uh, yeah uh, there are a few people who think their data structures and algorithms is not important for game development so uh, guys uh, if if you can quickly drop in chat why do you feel data structures and algorithms is not important uh, for game development if you have some thinking behind it quickly in the chat we'll just touch base on it for a minute or two quickly but if no one drops in then i guess we'll be done with the poll and uh, yeah i can see most of the people feel that data structures and algorithms is important for game development uh malhar i guess we can share the results with everyone to have a quick look at so uh yeah yeah, yeah uh, most of the people feel that it is important but then there are quite a few people who think no it is not so for those people if you can quickly go into the chat and put it in 
and then the remaining people have no clue about data structure and algorithms not a worry join into the program you'll get to know what data structure and algorithms is, is in a very good manner because trust me guys data structure and algorithms is very important not only to be a game developer but to be any kind of game developer if you have to be a good developer data structure and algorithms is uh is very 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 important why people are thinking like that i don't understand so it, yeah that's what i'm saying so any kind of developer it's not limited to game development but being into any kind of development data structures and algorithms is going to take the foremost importance you sit for any of the top companies uh even google when hiring for game development is going to check you for data structures and algorithms trust me google hires for game development as well so yeah <laughs> moving ahead uh, coming to the game development curriculum i already told you data structures and algorithms is going to be an important part but you will be working on c++ as well the reason we work on c++ is uh, there are two major reasons for that one is because data c++ helps us to work on data structures and algorithms in a smooth manner secondly a lot of our developers once they graduate work in unreal engine and having good knowledge of data structures and uh, sorry c++ helps them to work with companies that are working on unreal engine and adapt to the unreal engine very quickly so that is why uh, c++ is taught during the program and then again we work on unity 3d gaming engine and c sharp as well uh, to build the basics and give you a good idea about how exactly game development works and all so that that is that is about uh, the curriculum in general on all the three topics we'll be covering the basics the advanced uh, basically so even if you are familiar with basics not an issue uh, we'll cover that if you are familiar with uh, not familiar with basics we'll cover that we'll cover the advanced as well for people who are familiar with basics it will just get revised so not an issue and then finally we'll be covering the bonus which will cover your multiplayer games and back end including node js and javascript it will give you an idea about the way multiplayer games actually work and how exactly those technologies are involved uh, into building games uh, so that is what the bonus material will cover uh, on the back end as well uh moving ahead talking about the projects so all of you who are from a technical background might have done some sorts of projects in their college but uh, then again these two projects are usually done in btech i know that very closely one is a minor project at the end of your uh, final year and same year you are doing a major project and the entire class is doing the same project that is uh, uh, either a very uh, simple system that helps the college schedule classes or an attendance system based on face recognition so that is what most of the people end up building these days but then again those two projects are not going to get you a job trust me companies are sitting out there looking at github profiles with hundreds and hundreds of projects uh and they have that luxury to choose from and it's no different when it comes to game development companies might be scarce on talent but then they don't want to hire noobs they want people who are actually have some sorts of projects under their belt so with outscale you will be working on a total of 28 projects and repositories in general to c++ 6 unity and 20 data structures and algorithms projects so a total of 28 projects or repositories will be covered during the uh, the entire session and this will help build your github profile and present yourself in a better manner to the companies so the companies are very open and easy to hire you they don't have to think twice they know you've got projects under the belt you've got done stuff and these are just the projects that out you will be doing with outskill then there will be a lot of projects that you will be doing on your own so you can add that to your portfolio as well and showcase to the companies as well moving ahead uh, talking about mentors in general uh, college prof the difference between outskill mentors and college professors the very basic difference is college professors have been doing one job for the last 20 years that is teaching they don't know what is going on in the industry what kind of skill sets are required to get hired and then with outskill the difference is that people who are going to be mentors with outskill are people who have a job in the industry their daytime job is working with one of the top companies in the industry whether it's ea or smt 
just some of the mentors we have but working with one of the top companies in the industry and then in the evening between 7 to 10 they'll come and be mentors guide you in the career uh, of game development help you understand what those companies actually need from you whether it's amazon microsoft mayank himself has experience with ea kanishka again is working in us with smt uh, which is a major e sports brand then again uh, he's worked with ford so everyone a lot of you might be surprised why ford but as i mentioned a lot of people don't usually end up being game developers they end up working in ar and vr and ar and vr are very important components of today's automobile as well as the health industry even the architecture industry or dev uh, building industry is using ar vr quite a lot so yeah he's worked with ford as a vr developer i guess uh with the automobile industry and then of course you have your computer science mentors at uh, that are going to work with you in data structure algorithms from microsoft amazon people from other top brands like uh meta or facebook uh flipkart oyo who who will be part of your journey or career during this seven months program in general so that is something that's uh, again going to be covered during the uh program overall during the seven months so okay uh, th this this is always a stumping question but uh, then again just to check whether you are awake or asleep so how many total projects or repositories will be covering during the program we just discussed it i guess three or four slides back uh, i hope most of the people are going to end up answering the right answer but uh, i wouldn't be surprised if a few people just took a nap during the session uh or were playing games in fact that's also a possibility guys if you were playing games don't vote see someone just voted i'm not sure who that is but okay another one voted uh okay uh, guys if everyone can quickly go in and put in their votes and we'll just wrap this up in a minute okay 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 i can see quite a few polls and votes coming in guys uh to be a good game developer you know need to be good at maths just just add this up guys please just add this up before putting in your word we just discussed 2c++ 6 unity and 20 data structures and algorithms project what's the sum 28 it's not 14 it's not 10 it's not 6 wake up so cool uh, i guess uh, malar we can see there are quite a few people sleeping yet but uh, absolutely okay not an issue at all they'll wake up eventually uh because now we're going to talk about the fees of the program in general so uh the thing about the fees of the program is that you have three options to choose from for the fees of the program one is the postpaid option one is the hybrid option and the other is the prepaid option we're going to discuss about the three options in detail and uh, this will help you understand how you can actually do the program without paying tuition fees for the program right now but paying at a later stage so the first option that you have is the postpaid option the installment amount is fixed at double line double line total of 30 monthly installments is what you need to be paid the first installment is paid while joining into the program so if you are joining to the program from 13th of december you have to pay the first installment before that and the remaining 29 emis need to be paid after you get a offer letter or a job offer letter above a package of 4.5 lakhs per annum if you are not getting a offer letter above 4.5 lakhs per annum you don't have to pay out scale any of the remaining amount and this amount that you paid up front as well gets refunded back to you if you are not able to get a offer letter above 4.5 lakhs per annum it's as simple as that so you pay out scale these 20 uh, 29 emis only after you get a offer letter above 4.5 lakhs per annum if you are not getting this offer letter you don't have to pay out scale anything and the total payment a uh, payable amount including all of these things is close to uh, 2.5 lakhs per uh, uh, total so this is going to be the total payable amount under postpaid structure uh, under hybrid and prepaid the amount is going to be different but then again if you don't get a job you don't pay out scale anything at all you only pay once you get an offer letter during or at the end of the program so that is what is there about the postpaid structure 
uh it's again simply demonstrated over here offer letter ctc less than 4.5 lakhs per annum you're paying zero six lakhs per annum you're paying double line double line nine lakhs per annum again you're paying double line double line it's as simple as that moving ahead there's another model that is 50000 rupees cheaper than the postpaid and it's the hybrid model uh if you want you want to pay something right now but you don't want uh you can't pay the entire amount right now you have an option to pay 50000 rupees right now you can opt in for emis under this if you want you will be able to avail some emis in this as well and then you pay the remaining uh, amount only after you get a job above 4.5 lakhs per annum again if you are not getting a job you don't pay the remaining amount and the initial amount is also uh refunded back to you in case you don't get a offer letter above 4.5 lakhs per annum so it's as simple as that again uh in the hybrid model but the total amount is lesser you end up paying only uh 2 lakh rupees if you uh round it off so that is the total amount that you're going to end up paying under the hybrid model the final one is the prepaid model you say okay i'll start paying today onwards itself uh not an issue for me you can make a one time payment of 1.5 lakhs you will be eligible for some discounts on this just get in touch with the admissions team and they'll be able to help you out with that or you can opt in for the emi options of uh, 15 emis of double line double line and you pay over a course of 15 months basically so you can opt in for either of these two options under prepaid as well you can make a one time payment which will be open to some uh, benefits if you are paying emi uh you'll have to pay the entire amount again but then you'll be open for 15 emis of double line double line basically after orientation session what needs to be done choose your payment plan pay the first installment of double line double line basically and complete a game project so uh, as i told you our batches are small of only 20 people currently in this session only we have or had over 40 people at one time so uh, and we all like uh, have done some other orientation sessions as well earlier so the batch is almost at the verge of being full i guess uh, we've already closed 18 applicants at the moment and we have two two more seats left and it doesn't matter even if two more seats are not filled if you have not completed your game project and done a good job with it you're not getting into the clan we are happy to start plans with lesser number of people we've started plans in the past with only 10 people as well doesn't matter to us but then again this is a very important factor uh for your selection in i like doesn't matter if you are paying prepaid or you paying hybrid or you paying postpaid this is an important factor in getting into the program so you have to complete a game project about which maler will be discussing in detail shortly uh after orientation session uh or the in if you have opted in for the postpaid plan you sign the service agreement uh, your parent or guardian again signs the service agreement and you provide outskill with a post dated check basically and it's used in case of violation so once you've signed the agreement you have committed to outskill that you will do the program and you'll uh pay back outskill once you start earning or you get a job basically you get a offer letter so if after getting a offer letter you just disappear not replying to our calls you're not replying to our mails our texts then and only then in that case is when we use this check otherwise it's just a security check that is kept with us just think of it as a collateral when you go to a bank you ask for loan the bank ask you for a collateral that is used in case you don't pay back the loan it's the same thing over here uh this is a collateral that outscale will be keeping with itself in case you just disappear from the face of earth without paying back for the fees of the program so again we are not charging for getting you a job we are charging for the training of 7 months that we've provided you to help you get a job so that is what we are charging for and if you disappear without paying it this is the check that is going to use luckily till now we haven't had any of such cases we haven't had to use uh, even a single check 
uh hybrid model again uh you pay the upfront amount of 50k or get it split into installments and you pay uh you start with the program after paying the first installment you sign the service agreement your parent guardian also signs the service agreement and then you provide outscale with a post dated check of 1.5 lakhs again it's only used in case you violate the agreement uh after getting the offer letter you just disappear and don't pay out scale the remaining amount that is due to out scale so the check is used only in that case if you are keeping up and balancing out everything properly the check is going to get cancelled and returned back to you in that case so it's it's again the same if you are opting in for the upfront plan you sign the upfront agreement you pay the full fees as i mentioned discounts are available on that if you are choosing the emi plan you pay the first emi and then uh, you can pay the remaining emi as and when the time comes so that is about the upfront plan as well so this is about the fee structure overall again if you have any queries regarding this or anything in general just put your queries in the chat and i'll be more than happy to help you out with that any questions just mail to admissions at the rate outscale.com and the team will get back to you whether it's regarding the fees or the discount or anything in general just mail admissions at the rate outskill.com and you'll be able to get the details over there and if you have any other queries or questions just put in uh in chat and i'll i'll be able to take up the questions over there uh so i guess there are quite a quick few questions that are in the backlog is there any age bar also if i do get for a job in game development as a fresher i mean is there any age criteria that recruiters recruit people up to certain ages only sakshi uh, we have had candidates who are drop out from colleges getting placed earlier and we have even had people as i age 45 years old 50 years old uh, completing the program and getting a job so that's not an issue at all we've seen people get placed so yeah that's not an issue at all uh dharan nesh has another question why people are thinking like that i don't understand it's vital part in coding coding is nothing without it okay i guess this is related to data structures and algorithms no code platforms help bypass a lot times aditya has mentioned but then again no code platforms don't provide you uh like a complete scale of things that you can do there are only limited functionalities that you can do with a no code platform so that is always there uh then rish has another question can python be used as an alternative for c++ sir mm, why do we want to use python when c++ is going to help you land a job in the later stage uh doesn't make sense i guess at all uh gopal soma sundram i am sorry this is too expensive back to brackrees tutorials gopal uh i'm not sure but uh talk to me about this i'll break it down to you if i talk in general sense i'm not sure how how long brackrees tutorials are let's see how how soon you get a job with brackrees tutorial that's a simple question i pose to everyone uh so we'll we'll absolutely uh, discuss about it if you are able to get a job through brackrees tutorials not an issue what is the check sign procedure komal komal get in touch with the admissions team actually they'll be able to get into details about how exactly the check works you will sign the uh, agreement itself the fees payment agreement in that service agreement itself post paid agreement the check will also be mentioned and all the details of the check will be mentioned so if you don't have a copy of the service agreement at the moment just uh, let the admission team know and they'll be able to share a copy with you and uh, they'll also share the details about how exactly the check sign procedure works out of previous for jobs in gaming companies actually i have completed my mba but i am not satisfied with the job what am i what i am doing vignesh uh, there's no like you just reach out to companies on linkedin you connect with them and you showcase to them that you have projects under your belt that is the thing you do uh, but then again that's the only thing you do and uh, trust me when i tell you a lot of time that outscale candidates don't reach out to the companies the companies reach out to them so that's about that we don't worry about reaching out to companies we just have projects put them on linkedin showcase what we are doing companies are happy to reach out to our candidates in general so that's about how outscale rules uh, so yeah 
I don't think any more queries or questions are coming in at the moment. So I'll hand it over to Malha and uh, Malha can take everyone through exactly how um, the program in general will work and, oh, sorry, how to build their first game. And if you have any more queries and questions, just feel free to ping them in chat and uh yeah mm, i am interested to join it but it will take some time as i need to have a conversation with my parents regarding this program can i join the next batch in case this batch fills up gurusis uh you can absolutely join the next batch but uh then again the more you delay the later you'll reap the results so you can talk to your parents even if you want me or someone from the admissions team to get in touch with your parents, have a conversation with them. I am more than happy. A lot of times I talk to a lot of parents who have this doubt about whether game development is a safe field, a safe career choice or not. Trust me, it's a very safe career choice. I'm happy with my job. I am in sorts of game industry itself. And I'm quite stable with my job in the past two years itself. And so is Muller. So yeah, if your parents want to talk to me, uh, the, the Gurasis, uh, okay. I, I'll just share my email address. We can start with the correspondence from there. I have dropped my email address in the chat for anyone who wants to connect with me. It's satnamji at the rate outscale.com. You can directly ping me on this email address and I'll be more than happy to get back to you on the same. Sir, do I can join after three months? Subram, same answer as for Gurasis. Uh, the later you join in, the more the competition as well. Mm, trust me. I am from BTEC background, but was weak in programming. That is why I dropped the idea of going into technical career. Do we get extra sessions for help from mentors if we are not good at programming? Sakshi, uh, we'll be starting from the very basics. Even if you're not good with programming, trust me, Malar is here. He'll make sure you are good with programming uh, once you're through the program. <laughs> so uh, yeah, his, his work is actually uh, to get people be good with programming not an issue at all you will be uh, not only be getting extra sessions with mentors you will be getting sessions with uh, coaches so we have this ex extra kind of people that are coaches who are alumni of outscale who've already gone through the program they understand where people face problems and difficulties so you will be connecting with them directly uh, you can connect with them on one on one calls and get help from them wherever you are stuck in the program, whether it's in the programming field, C++, data structure algorithms, whatever you're stuck with, you can connect with them directly basically on that. This program will help to build meta games. Uh, Zulnun, uh, mm, uh, the first step to building meta games is building games. So this program will help you get to the first step and so it's, it's as simple as that. When you are learning ABCD, it doesn't mean that, uh, it, it doesn't mean that when you are learning ABCD, you will be able to speak complex English language, but then again, it's where you start, right? That is what this program is about. This is where you're going to start after that. Of course, as you proceed ahead with your career, you, I'm not sure what kind of games you'll end up building meta games or something new comes up in the next 10 years and you're working on that project. But then again, this program is going to be where you is going to start. It's, it's very important for everyone to understand that nothing magic happens in general. Anup, I understand the question. That's what I am trying to answer over here that, uh, no magic is going to happen in this program, right? We'll, teach you how to actually be a good game developer. First of all, if you don't know ABCD, you can't start forming uh, sentences. You need to be good in your ABCDs first. And that is what outscale is going to do for you in the career, give you a stepping stone. After that, what kind of games you want to build? You can choose your in companies. As I told you, you can connect with the right set of companies as well. I absolutely get the question that is put over there. And that's what I'm trying to answer as well. So I hope this answers your question. ABCD is the basis of everything. You don't start uh, directly from every uh, anything. Uh, I am also from BTEC background, but was weak in programming, but very interested in game development. G great Subrim, I guess you are in the right place. 
but i guess now i'll hand over to malar it's it's been quite a long session already so malar i guess you can start uh, with the game building session at the moment yeah yeah uh, hey guys hi uh, i hope uh, everybody uh, loved the session i'm just sharing screen at the moment uh, so just let me know when you guys can see my screen hello can you guys see my screen yeah if everyone can quickly go in and drop in a thumbs up in the chat if the screen is visible it will be great just go in and drop in a thumbs up in the chat okay i guess it's visible got it got it okay so uh, this link okay i i am just sharing one link okay so i have shared one link uh, of this page so please make sure that uh, you are you are bookmarking this link and you are taking care of this link as simple as that uh like because entire information about the assignment submission and as just like satnam ji said uh, assignment submission will be the crucial part of uh, the admission process of the outscale so entire assignments deadlines and all the things like registration process as well uh, is embedded in this link uh, so please make sure that you are not losing this link anywhere uh so coming back to this uh, i will quickly explain what exactly these projects are uh, so we have divided uh, the projects into uh, into three parts like one is beginner project another is intermediate project and another is expert project so as uh, you guys can see there are wide variety there is a wide variety of audience uh, in the call uh, and trust me even if you are coming from the non technical background definitely this program will help you on the other hand even if you are at the expert level you are actually working as a game developer in any game studio this program will definitely going to help you as well so according to that uh, if you are totally beginner for the programming if you don't know anything about programming and haven't coded in any language uh, this project is best for you uh, then comes intermediate projects uh, then uh, this project will will be built in unity game engine you will be actually making the .exe file you will be actually making your first game inside unity engine uh, so if you know some of the basics of the programming like very few basics of the programming language any programming language that is fine uh, then you can pick up this intermediate project uh, and then comes the expert level project like uh, it is for those who are experienced uh, game developers or uh, have built any project inside unity game engine at least Uh, up to the build uh, like i'm what i mean by making a project uh, i mean that like you you should be able to build the project you should you you should be able to create a dot exe file of that project so if you have knowledge of that uh, if you have built any project in unity game engine this project will uh, is the best suit uh, suit, uh, suit for you okay there is any offline section can available uh, yeah yeah uh, i'm just about to cover that so i'm just going to explain uh, rock paper scissor exact same hierarchy you will be seeing so here is a deadline as rock paper scissor uh, in c++ is very simple and very easy uh, so it is a deadline uh, of tomorrow's 9 pm uh, and yeah like you just need to click here rock paper scissor in c++ you will be seeing two assignments only uh, where you will be learning the c++ basics as well as implementing the core logic of the game uh, simple Uh, after doing these two assignments you will just come back to here and then click on the assignment submission uh, we take every submission in a format of the linkedin post uh, you might feel it strange uh, but if you lit, uh, if you scroll down a little bit uh, we have given you a reason why we are so bullish on linkedin so if you click on this link uh, you can connect with our uh, current students as well as some of the alumni uh if you have any doubts related to the program if you want any honest feedback from these guys you can connect to any of them and have a chat with them uh some of them are already working in some of the gaming companies and some of them are currently student of the outscale as well uh so yeah like what i'm trying to say is our students uh have succeeded uh in the game development by continuously pushing their dev logs game development logs uh, and that's what we believe uh we want your professional network uh, start growing in a right direction and that's why we are very bullish on linkedin uh so yeah as simple as that all the assignment submission instructions are written here uh, we have given you some template as well bright side of uh, linkedin networking already shared to you 
uh there is something called as loom link loom is nothing but a video recording software online video recording software you can use as per your preference but we have suggested to use this uh so this is how you will be submitting the assignment and here is a submission form link you just need to click here uh then the form link will appear and you just need to fill this form with your proper details as simple as that uh after filling up this form your submission will uh, will get done and admission team will contact you uh this is for the rock paper scissor in c++ if you want to know more about registration process uh just go ahead and explore these pages uh so exact same hierarchy exact same structure is for every project uh same for mr blocks uh inside unity projects there is additional thing of software installations as we are working in proper game engine you need to install some softwares and we have given you video material as well uh, for all the things uh, if we quickly go to the assignments of the mr blocks in unity 2d uh, just let me take you to the player moment so here you can see all the videos are provided to you uh, there are some important notes uh, and if you keep on scrolling down there is a task list in front of you as well and there is some bonus challenge as well uh, if you are already familiar with unity Uh, and you have started doing our mr block project then you can go ahead and implement these bonus challenges in your project uh, so yeah like as simple as that you will be, you will be picking up a project according per your technicality uh, and according per your technical understandings uh, and yeah like you will be submitting that project before the deadline and then admission team will contact you uh, in terms of admissions and all the process so i will wait for some time uh, like if you have any questions feel free uh and then like we value uh, your feedback a lot so please make sure that you are putting a valuable feedback of yours here uh again if you have any doubts email us at the rate admissions at the rate outscale.com uh and the last at last we have a discord community over 4000 game developers and more like we inside our discord community there are 4000 plus game developers currently and still we are growing so just click here to be part of our discord community okay i hope you will enjoy there like you can ask doubts in in that like there are dedicated channels for the unity game development c++ c sharp data structures as well uh, i am quite sure you will enjoy our discord community as well so yeah like that's it from my end uh, related to this document i am just waiting for a few questions if you have okay i'm just stopping the screen share uh what i will do i will just quickly share the link again so you guys won't miss out on that yeah any doubts guys i guess everything should have been cleared but yeah like uh, feel free to ask uh, doubts guys uh yeah at least say me no we don't have any doubts uh, everything is clear at least give me some confirmation mm, yes no are you guys listening clear okay thank you thank you sarfraj everything is clear okay thanks a lot everything is clear no doubts at the moment great great uh, so guys uh, just follow up the assignments uh, just watch the videos uh, and do the assignments uh, we are waiting for your submissions and all the best for the submissions and i i am quite sure you guys will definitely uh, make into clan 19 that we are starting uh, and yeah just to advise all those who are already game developers uh, pick up the last project uh, you will understand more about code architecture design patterns and all of the advanced level concept those are known to the only experienced game developers so we have given you one design pattern as mvc model view controller so go ahead and explore that project again if you are already comfortable with unity game engine and all the stuff in that case uh, the advanced and expert level project is advisable for you but yeah like if you are intermediate go ahead and explore our mr blocks uh, you will enjoy building that game as well so yeah like uh, i hope you have enjoyed this session uh, there is any offline section or classes are available uh, yeah okay uh, shubram dash uh, sorry i i haven't picked up that question actually offline means i didn't get you at that time but offline uh, i considered it as a recorded session but uh, there is no such outskill don't have any offline branch where you can come and sit on the desks uh, and you can learn we are purely online and we believe in remote culture 
so yeah like as of now outscale don't have any uh, offline branch okay i hope that uh, answered your question anything else guys any other questions all clear related to the assignment submissions deadlines and all the stuff and yeah like deadlines will be different uh, i just showed you the deadline of the c++ which is fairly simple project and deadline for c++ is 9th deadline for uh, mr block is 10th and deadline for that expert level project that battle tank 3d project is actually 11th uh, so depending upon the difficulty level of the project the assignments are set up uh, sorry deadlines are set up uh, so yeah like you can do that um what was the upfront payment amount uh, upfront payment amount actually you can rewatch this entire recording uh, i i will embed the recording of this uh, entire session in that notion page itself but answer to your question is uh, upfront cost was uh, 1.5 lakhs and if you are opting in for emi then 10000 per month emi okay i hope answered that question But yeah, like I will make sure that you will get recording of this entire session, so you can rewatch some of the uh, some of the points shared by the Satnam Ji as well as me. Okay, all good. Excited to make your first game, or like some of you might have already developed the game. But are you guys excited to build up the assignments of the link uh, assignments of the outscale? Yes, no. At least show me some excitement, guys. Mm, okay. i guess only one person is excited okay now i am getting some responses great uh, okay uh, see you soon guys i hope you will enjoy the projects uh, and yeah definitely give us a feedback especially i hunt always for a negative feedback so don't feel uh, don't feel bad uh, for giving honest feedback okay thanks a lot bye bye guys see you soon bye bye uh, do i can share video of game which is i am working definitely definitely you can do that okay bye bye just share that video in on linkedin and tag us uh, i will definitely going to see that okay guys just wrapping up uh, bye bye